that they were primarily designed to be used on your lap, but very few people use them on their lap. And I think they were also designed for short-term use, um, you know, maybe an hour or two at the most a day. And I think people are using them for long periods of time. We're even seeing students um, here on campus that use them all day long in, in class. And then when they go, go to their dorms at night, they're using them there. So, and, and the same with our employees, using them all day and then taking them home with them, using them at home at night. The keyboards and the monitors are connected, they're all one piece, so you can't really separate the two. If, if people are using them down low, they typically see, we see a problem in the neck because they have their, their head forward, the neck flexed, and so they're just in that frozen posture for long periods of time. If they're using them up high on a desk, for instance, maybe the monitor now is a better position, but the wrists or the shoulders are in, in bad position, so you would see the problem. Um, materialized there in terms of the hand wrist pain or possibly even in the shoulders. Long term it, they could be they could be causing some damage to the point where it's not going to get better and so it's important to intervene early either change the posture or change the setup of, of the work area or the, the setup of the computer itself. Now our rule of thumb is the top of the screen should be at about eye level and the keyboard and mouse should be at about elbow height. The right way to use a laptop is to use it in a docking station, basically put it aside and not use it so much um, as a laptop itself, but just use it more as the CPU, and then have an external keyboard, external monitor, and external mouse. So, so to me, that would be the best way to use it and make sure that the keyboard and mouse are, are really at the right height, monitor at the right height as well. So there are devices that are available on the market that you can use that will help you elevate the laptop, especially the screen. Um, this is just one example. You can see how you can put your laptop here, which then brings the monitor up to, to the preferred level. Then if you add an external keyboard, you could even put the keyboard in your lap. Or if you had a keyboard tray, a pull-out keyboard tray, you could actually put it in there as well. So this is a, a standard three ring binder and we tell our students that you know if you're in a classroom setting or, or somewhere where you need to use your laptop and you want to try to get it in a better position, especially if you're having some neck pain, you can use the binder to elevate the screen and then even though it angles the keys up a little bit, you're still able to work with your shoulders relaxed and your hands and wrists in a, in a fairly straight line. So this is, is one example of a, of a good setup and just a real easy fix that you can use. This, this mouse that I usually use on the left side is done that way because that's so much better for your right hand to give it a break basically by swapping it, using it with your left hand periodically. And it's very easy to get used to by doing that and that's the one thing you can do to just give that hand a break.